Is your business ready for the next three to seven years in AI? Let's break down these five levels revealed by OpenAI and how your business can prepare. My name is Carl Yeh and I'm the Chief AI Officer with zero to 60ai My goal is to help people and businesses find the real and tangible benefits of AI through strategy, education, and implementation. According to this Bloomberg article, there was an open AI meeting where leadership discussed where AI was going through these five stages. Now these stages aren't finalized and they were looking for employee feedback, but it provides a rough framework and where OpenAI's vision of where AI will be going. So let's go over each level and see how they impact business today and into the future and how your business can prepare. So level one is chatbots, AI with conversational language. So this is how AI is primarily used today through ChatGPT, Gemini, Claude, a llama through Meta, Grok through X, and many more. The current impact on businesses include content creation, idea generation, customer service chatbots, data analysis, and improving productivity and efficiency anywhere between 10 to 40%. Businesses can get the most out of these tools and prepare by training employees to manage and use these tools on a daily basis. Combine these with predictive analytics to help forecast and make strategic business decisions. And you can implement your own company specific chatbot through building custom ones using retrieval augmented generation or third party tools like Chatbase. Next, let's move on to level two, which are called reasoners, human level problem solvers. And in this case, PhD level problem solvers. The Bloomberg article states that OpenAI believes that we're closing in on level two. This means enhancing our own decision making, optimizing workflows, and really identifying issues before they arise and suggest improvements. For example, in manufacturing, AI-driven analytics can help optimize production schedules and manage inventory. Some ways businesses can start preparing for this human level problem solving include ensuring robust data collection and management processes, adopting predictive analytics tools like IBM SPSS, Microsoft Azure, or Google Cloud AI. Start with pilot projects to help solve specific business problems like predictive maintenance, or inventory management. You definitely want to upskill your staff in data science and using AI. Let's go to level three, agents and systems that can take action by itself. Now current AI can carry out tasks, but agents can carry out goals, meaning deciding which tasks to implement, to carry out, and repeat. And according to OpenAI, these AI agents can run for days. For businesses, this means automating complex tasks, improving accuracy and enhancing scalability. This means reducing errors and scaling business operations without increasing labor costs. In the construction industry, AI agents can oversee site management, ensure that materials are delivered on time and the projects stay on schedule. In real estate, AI could automatically handle property listings, marketing campaigns, and lead generation. So how can your business prepare for this level? First, identify key business processes for AI integration, like supply chain management. Identify those workflows and processes that can be automated, maybe not 100%, but anywhere between 10 to 40%. Set up those AI automations knowing that that 40% can turn into 100%. You could also start looking at developing custom AI solutions with the help of AI consultants. Then you can conduct extensive testing and refinement of AI decision-making capabilities. Next is level four, innovators. AI that can help with invention or invent things on their own. For example, this could revolutionize sectors like metal contracting and home building by designing new materials or construction methods that are more efficient and sustainable. In manufacturing, these AI systems can lead to R&D effort to develop innovative products and processes that could give a company a competitive edge. So how can your business prepare for this? First of all, foster a culture of innovation and experimentation where employees are comfortable with AI-driven solutions. Train employees on how to use AI so they're not surprised by this capability and know how to harness it. Invest in your research and development to help identify and use AI tools. Now is a great time to collaborate or explore what collaboration looks like with AI research companies. And you also want to protect AI driven innovations through patents and intellectual property strategies. And finally, level five organizations, AI that can do the work of an organization. There's really not much to explain here. AI can manage and operate entire business functions or even entire companies. This is where AI can manage and operate entire business functions or even entire companies. For industries like oil and gas, this could mean AI overseeing exploration, extraction, 
and processing operations. In real estate, AI can manage property portfolios, investment decisions, client relationships, optimizing for profitability and efficiency. Automation at this level can significantly reduce labor costs, but it has a very big impact on the number of employees that companies need. So how does a business prepare for this? Now, this is where a long-term AI roadmap is very useful. This is where you can see AI integrating with every level and every department in your business. You have to ensure that your top level management is committed to AI integration and transformation, gradually automating end-to-end -end business processes and establishing ethical and governance guidelines to align your AI operations with company values and regulations. Now, these five levels aren't set in stone, but you can see where OpenAI and the other AI companies are looking towards. That's why it's important to start understanding the fundamentals and implementing AI, or at least piloting them in your business. It's these small steps that'll help prepare your business for this AI future.